Hello again, everyone. Uh, welcome to our second video this week in learning about the spiritual practice of memorization. Uh, maybe if you've watched the first video, maybe you've already kind of started on your way. You've, you've chosen a passage, you, you've done something, you've kind of taken some steps towards internalizing and carrying that word with you. That's awesome. Keep, keep at it. Uh, it, today, if you haven't picked a passage, uh, I'm going to walk us through a passage and have us kind of memorize it together. So if you are already working on something else, you, go keep doing that. You can watch this. You can kind of see my process a little bit, uh, but don't feel like you have to memorize this. But uh, if you want some guidance, if you want to memorize the passage right along with me, then uh, you can join in today. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you kind of what I showed you in the first video of, of my old drawing that I did back in seminary, a, a way to kind of work your way through a passage using a combination of mnemonic devices, uh, abbreviations, and kind of pictures and drawings. So uh, this behind me, it, what you're already probably looking at and going, what on earth is Marcus doing, uh, is uh, the first four verses of Psalm 121. Uh, so if you don't already have something to write with, you need something to write with, okay? This is, this is what we're doing today. So uh, pause the video, grab something to write with, and you can even grab a Bible and open it to Psalm 121. Uh, we're going to be going from the NIV today. Uh, so let me walk you through kind of what I already did, and then I want us to do the last four verses of this together. So this is uh, me just kind of breaking down. There's eight verses in Psalm 121. So I just kind of did one through eight here. And for every verse, I'm doing a line. Uh, and on each line, I'm doing uh, kind of some pictures. I'm doing some mnemonic stuff, and I'm doing some abbreviations uh, just to help me remember and give me little cues for making my way through the passage. Uh, now, each one of these is going to look different, right? So I did the first four verses, and I, I want you to do the last four verses kind of on your own. And I'll do it here too, and you can kind of see my process. But uh, I, I want you to kind of start to internalize this and make this your own a little bit. So let me walk you through the first four verses of Psalm 121 with my random scribbles here, okay? Uh, so I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Uh, where, question mark, uh, where does my help come from? Uh, my help comes from the Lord. So I'm not drawing pictures all the time. Sometimes I'm just taking little phrases uh, and taking the first letters. Like, my help comes from the Lord, uh, the maker of heaven, uh, these are clouds, uh, and earth. Uh, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Uh, he will not let your foot slip. Okay, like my little arrow there. I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, he will not let your foot slip. Uh, he who watches you, it's a little watch, okay? He who watches you will not slumber. Uh, so for slumber, uh, there's slumber and sleep in this passage. So I didn't want to draw a guy sleeping yet. I wanted to use the SL abbreviation for slumber. To some of you, you might say, Marcus, that makes no sense because sleep also starts with SL. That's probably true. <laughs> uh, but in my brain, SL, I see it and I think slumber. So whatever works for you, that's what you write down as you work your way through a passage. So he who watches over you will not slumber. Uh, indeed, he who watches over Israel, so I'm using kind of the same things when there's the same phrase, he who watches over Israel will not slumber nor sleep. I wanted to use the sleeping guy uh, for sleep. So that's when I drew the bed. So you can kind of see a little bit of my process. Now, what I want to encourage you to do is uh, either uh, you can copy down kind of what I did here at, on your own piece of paper for these first four verses, or you can uh, start at the beginning of the psalm, pause this video again uh, if you want to do that. You can start at the beginning of the psalm, work your way through the first four verses, doing some abbreviations, doing some pictures, doing some mnemonic things along the way. Because what I want us to do now uh, is finish off the passage. So I, I have my Bible here. Uh, and I want us to kind of draw these things together. So verse 5 says, The Lord watches over you. Uh, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. So if you're working your way through this, before I draw something, what would you draw? How would you remember that line? The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Uh, for me, uh, if, to help me remember this, uh, it'd be the Lord uh, watches, so we got another watch again, uh, over, uh, so a little arrow again, over you, uh, the Lord watches over you, 
Uh, the Lord is your shade. Shade, so underneath there, uh, at your right hand. Oh boy, now I gotta draw hands. Um, we'll call that a hand, okay? Uh, and it's the right hand, because that's the thumb. <laughs> so the Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. Uh, verse 6, uh, the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Right? So these are, are fairly simple. The sun, the sun will not harm you uh, by day, nor the moon. I'll do a little crescent moon here. Uh, nor the moon, and I'll do a nor, nor the moon by night. Uh, kind of rushing through this a little bit, but the sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon. <laughs> it doesn't look like a moon. That's okay. Uh, nor the moon by night. Uh, then we get to verse 7. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. How would you write this down? Uh, the Lord will keep you from all harm. Uh, so I'm going to do... The Lord will keep you from all harm. No image was coming to my mind right away, so uh, that's when I like to do kind of series of letter letters. The Lord will keep you from all harm. Uh, he will watch. Okay. He will watch over your life. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. And then the last verse, the Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forevermore. Uh, so the Lord will watch. Uh, what was it again? The Lord will watch over your coming and your going. Uh, so I'm going to use my over symbol again. Okay, so the Lord will watch over. Um, and I'm going to use arrows, your coming and your going. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, uh, both now and forevermore. Uh, both now and forevermore. That's kind of help, how, how I remember it. So friends, this is Psalm 121. Uh, if, if, if we would go through this over and over again, we would uh, kind of have these clues that help us go through the psalm. Hopefully, you have taken some time to write uh, your own kind of series of letters, mnemonic devices, pictures, whatever it might be. Uh, and if you look at it, and if you go through it a, a couple times, you'll be able to get it. And pretty soon, you can start erasing them, okay? Or you can start covering them up uh, because you'll have it and you'll know it. Uh, so I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, let's actually walk through it one more time together. You can look at mine. Uh, I'm going to kind of walk through mine again. Uh, you can look at yours, uh, so that way you have your own kind of writing symbol interpretation of Psalm 121. But this is the, kind of the process. This is how this works. Uh, so I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel uh, will neither slumber nor sleep. Uh, the Lord, see, now this is what I haven't done as much, so we'll see if my devices work, okay? The Lord watches over you. The Lord is the shade at your right hand, my awesome right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon <laughs> by night. Uh, the Lord will keep you from all harm. He uh, watches over, oh, let's see, now I don't remember what L is. He watches over your life. So don't go to your Bible right away if you get stuck with your thing, right? My Bible's right here, but I didn't want to look at, it, look at it. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He watches over your life. Uh, the Lord watches over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Friends, I don't know if this is helpful. I hope that it is. I know memorization can be a little bit scary and a little bit intimidating, but hopefully something like this uh, is a way to kind of make it a little bit more accessible. Uh, okay, so I need to interrupt myself before I get to the wonderful ending to my video because I forgot to show you something cool about this. 
when you have all of these things written out, you can also start to see themes and you can start to see patterns. When I looked back at this, you know what I saw? I saw one, two, three, four, five watches. Uh, what do you think might be a big theme in Psalm 121? God watching, how he watches over us. If you use these symbols consistently all the way through, you can start to see themes and you can start to see patterns as we go through. Okay, that's all I needed to say. I'm going to let myself finish. I would love to hear from you what you are memorizing. I would love to see some pictures of some of your mnemonic devices. If you're doing something like this, I'd love to know a little bit more about your process. Uh, you can leave it in, in the comments below. You can email me. You can text me. I would love, love, love to hear from you. But blessings to you as you memorize and carry the word of God with you. Thanks, friends.